In this no nonsense video, I'm going to show you how to easily and quickly make your new phone look exactly like your old phone, transferring all the pictures, contacts, messages, call history, apps, and you won't even have to log in to any of the apps on your new phone. At the end of this video, you will learn to get your new phone up and running in minutes. This applies to users of both Android and iPhones. On the left here, I have Samsung's S21 Ultra, which is my old phone. And on the right here, I have Samsung S24 Ultra. And the first step is to charge your phones. I have charged both the phones to around 80%. On your old phone, make sure you take a recent latest backup. You can do so by going into the settings. And here it says backup data Samsung Cloud. And click on backup data. And you can click on backup now, it will back up everything. As you can see, it is backing up call logs, messages, contacts, calendars, clock, settings, home screen, and all the apps. And once it's completed, you will be seeing checkboxes to the right of each item. The apps usually take the longest and you are ready to now power off the device. So once you have powered the device off, you can take the SIM card out and put it into the new device. And on the new device, make sure you pay close attention to the orientation of the SIM card. On the new one, the notch is on the top right and on the old SIM card tray, the notch is on the bottom left. The next step is to connect the two phones using a USB-C cable. I'm going to use the USB-C cable that came with the S24 Ultra. You can also perform this transfer without using a cable wirelessly, but that usually takes much longer. Power on both the devices. As soon as you insert the SIM card, it'll show you a message pop-up that says service provider update your device will restart and configure features supported by the new SIM card. So click on restart and switch when you see this message. And now back onto the welcome screen on the new S24 Ultra. Click on start. And here you can agree to the terms. And on the next screen, you're presented with a question asking you if you want to set it up with another device. And here you have a few options. You can set it up from Galaxy or an Android device, an iPhone or an iPad, or set it up manually. In my case, because I'm gonna transfer it from an old Android Galaxy device, I'm going to choose the first option, which is Galaxy or Android device. And on the next screen, it's asking you to scan the QR code presented on the screen using your old phone. On your old device, you will see a message, set up Galaxy S24 Ultra. To get started, you will scan a QR code to copy accounts. So the next step would be to click on setup on your old device. And that should prompt you to scan the QR code on the S24. And once you scan the QR code, it'll ask you to continue setup on your new device. And here it says connecting to Wi-Fi, getting your phone ready on the new device. It's asking you to verify if it is you by entering the same pin that you had on your old phone. And if you want to use the same pin to unlock your new phone, you can keep the box that says also use this pin to unlock this phone checked. And once you enter your pin, you can hit done. And it's gathering all the info needed to transfer everything from your old phone to your new phone. And on the next screen, it's asking you if you want to copy data from your old Android device. In my case, I want to copy everything, so I'm going to click on next. And on the next screen, it's asking you to get started with Smart Switch. Now, Smart Switch is what will transfer everything from your old phone to your new phone. So by continuing, I am agreeing to the term. So I'm going to click on Next. Smart Switch requires all these permissions. I'm going to allow all of that. And here it says 
transfer your data bring your apps wallpapers pictures and other data from your old phone or tablet and on the left side it says close app or continue for the smart switch application i'm going to click on continue here it is also asking on the left side with the old phone if these permissions are okay for microphone call logs and everything i'm going to click more and allow and on the right you can transfer the data on the new phone using wireless or cable option we are already set up to use the cable we proactively connected the usb cable so we are going to click on cable and on the left you can see that it says continue on your new device so we're going to click on cable which is much faster i'm going to unplug and plug the cable back in so it recognizes that i connected and here it says connecting to transfer your data and on your new phone it's asking you what data to transfer i've already removed unwanted apps and data from my old phone so i'm going to select everything to transfer to the new phone but if you want to customize this you can choose certain apps or you can just simply click everything and proceed and on the next screen it's asking you what messages to transfer and here it says transferring on both these screens do not disconnect the cable at this point now this could take a while it showed me that it's going to take 39 minutes and here it says you're all set up finish you can see that on the left it is still transferring so if you see the wallpaper on the right that does not mean that the transfer is complete it is still transferring the data from your old phone to your new phone and after around 20 minutes on the left on the old phone here it says all done and that shows that the transfer is now complete on your new phone after you have unplugged the cable you might see a notification that says organizing your transfer data and that's from smart switch it says 12 minutes left so the phone's data is not fully transferred it is still optimizing everything so you may have to wait a few more minutes until everything is ready and the transfer data has been organized and synced properly and that is how you transfer data from your old phone to your new phone quickly and easily. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy content like this. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Cheers.